Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I hope that you guys are having an amazing one today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarell, and in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new foundation from Makeup Forever. I ran to Sephora when I saw that it was available on store. I did get this one a couple of years ago, and then this one is called the Matte Velvet Skin, and I did get mine in the shade Y405. It was just a 2D for me, even during the summertime, so I was never really able to use it. I don't know why I did in a return it now we are going to be using this one which i'm pretty sure is the replacement for this one now this one is called the hd skin matte velvet very close in name and this one is in the shade 2y20 and here is how the shade looks now i did swatch it and i do feel like it's going to match me a little bit better than this one this one as you can see it's way too deep so i do have somewhere to go i am going to do like a super quick simple makeup look today using this foundation and this is going to be an all day kind of review because i do again have somewhere to go and it is going to be like an event um so i'm going to be outside with my toddler and it's going to be a little chaotic which i'm really happy to be testing this one out during this time so let's go ahead and prep the skin i am going to use a little bit of this huda beauty primer on my skin just on my t-zone where i do have a little bit of pores and i'm also going to apply a little bit of concealer under my eyes just to make sure that i do have the coverage where i need it this is so good i really enjoy this primer right here just because it feels really nice and hydrating it doesn't feel too sticky and it just really blurs my pores a little bit not too much of course it doesn't make it disappear but it blurs them out <laughs> so the concealer that i'm going to be using today is this one right here which is the born this way concealer in a golden beige i absolutely love this concealer so much i think that this lighting is a little bit better and this is how i would wear this foundation since it's a powder foundation the rest of the products that I'm going to be wearing are just going to be powders. Hi! Hi! <laughs> so here again is the packaging. This retails for $43. It does have a shelf life of 12 months and it's made in France. And let's go ahead and take this out. You know what? Let me just swatch it in the back of my hand so you guys can see. It pretty much disappears. So I do have the primer really in the center of my face. I don't have anything here. So let me go ahead and just swatch it for you guys. And that is a lot of coverage. So I'm just going to start patting it in and blend it down my neck. And again, this is a really nice, beautiful, beautiful shade for me. I'm just so happy that I got the right shade. I do need some coverage around my mouth because I do have some discoloration. I also have hyperpigmentation right here in this area. All right, so the claims for this foundation is that it's a lightweight, medium to full coverage powder foundation that blurs the look of imperfections and mattifies for up to 24 hours for a natural real skin finish. So here we have the foundation on this side of the face and no foundation. It is giving me a really nice and natural finish. I don't feel like it is too mattifying where it's making it look a little bit too flat. Um, here is the side with no foundation, again with a foundation. And it is a really nice, beautiful blurring foundation as well. The way that it just blend into my forehead, it is the best most like exact shade to my skin tone that I have ever encountered when it comes to foundations, which I'm really, really excited because it is really hard to find the perfect shade when it comes to foundations, especially when it comes to powder foundations. So I am going to do the rest of my face in fast wear for you guys. So just to brighten things up a little bit under the eyes, just because it looks really like one dimensional, I am going to add this little powder right here from Charlotte Tilbury just underneath my eyes to brighten things up. All right guys, so I do want to show you a really nice close up of the skin. All right, guys, so here is how the skin looks with the bronzer, blush, and highlighter, as well as a little bit of lip liner and this lip balm from, or 
this right here. I don't know what it's called. It is a really, really long name from Lawless that I am in love with. It is so, so, so good. But anyways, I will link everything that I am wearing down below in the description area just in case you guys are interested. But here is how the skin again looks. So to the naked eye, everything is looking pretty good. I mean, the pores are there, but they are being a little blur, which I really appreciate that. Everything just went on so nicely, no problem whatsoever. The foundation is just pretty much intact and I am just still very amazed of how great of a match it is for the rest of my body. I just feel like there's no lines of demarcation. Um, it just goes on with the tone. And the shade is just perfect and I'm so happy about that. I feel like this is going to be like a super quick one and done and kind of everyday foundation for me, especially for those hot days here in Florida. So yeah, okay. So it is 1.14 in the afternoon. I don't know if you saw that, but it is 1.15 in the afternoon. I will check back with you guys later on today. If I can do a midway kind of checkout uh, from wherever I am, I will do that for you guys. But what do you guys think so far? What you guys think were you guys even interested in this foundation let me know in the comment section down below when i saw it I, I knew that i was going to get it just because i do love makeup forever and a lot of their products just work so well for me so yeah i'm really really impressed with how the skin is looking and i feel already put together with the brows and everything it's like i'm ready to go all right <laughs> i'll see you guys later All right guys, so it is 11.27 and here we are for our last checkup. I have been wearing this foundation for about 10 hours. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get closer so we can see everything together. All right, so here is how the foundation looks after 10 hours. I don't think that I mentioned it, but I am oily to combination. I do have an oily T-zone. Now I am not as oily as i can get during the summertime um but as you can see my face is pretty shiny but not as oily as i thought that i was going to be i actually like my skin like this just because i again have been going through a little bit with my skin uh, but the foundation itself looks really really good I can still see the bronzer i can st still see the blush and of course i am a little bit more shiny all over my skin which i don't mind at all i don't think that i am super super oily where it actually looks you know too much so the only thing that i didn't really like is just the way that it was settling into my fine lines on my forehead but other than that everything like over here looked just so beautiful and pretty the whole entire day but i do gotta say again you know just emphasizing the lines on my forehead so i do have to be a little bit more careful next time that i do wear this foundation not to apply too much on my forehead just because i really did like the way that I wore for the rest of my skin. But yeah, that is it for this review. I hope that you were able to get the close-up that you needed just in case you were eyeing this foundation and you really wanted to, you know, see it in action. I mean, 10 hours, it is the longest that I have actually worn a foundation and I am not mad about the skin whatsoever. But yeah, that is it, guys. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your love, your time and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time bye